Hi, my name is Kamis Mosaviza, the author of 38 books, and I want to speak about importing and exporting and trade deficits. So, you know, you look at nations that import more goods than they sell to another nation. For example, the United States has a trade deficit with South Korea. That means the United States buys more goods from South Korea than it sells to South Korea. Okay? So a trade surplus would mean that a nation sells more than it imports from a nation, right? So, um, you know, Germany, for example, has always been able to maintain a trade surplus with China because Germany sells the machinery that the Chinese use to manufacture the goods that are sold all over the world, right? The United States, right, has a trade deficit, right? So a growing trade deficit is not always bad, right? It's good for consumers, right? The end consumer gains from a trade deficit because that means goods that are manufactured at lower prices can be imported allowing consumers to save more money that they can then use to go spend on travel spend on leisure to spend you know as disposable you know disposable money whatever they want to spend it on right so when they're able to buy cheap you know for example let's say and when i say cheap i mean inexpensive right i'm not talking about cheap quality i'm talking about inexpensive so if you're able to buy a you know 50 inch television that's made in south korea or made in china it's imported to the united states you buy it for three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars right in the 1980s you would have had to buy that television probably from japan or from a factory and there were very few like zenith and there was like a very few like three or four maybe two companies that actually manufacture televisions in the united states so you have to pay an exorbitant fee you have to pay like a thousand dollars you know two thousand dollars to buy a television when you could have bought that television for five hundred dollars right for one fourth the price you would have saved fifteen hundred dollars you would have been able to spend that fifteen hundred dollars on something else you could have bought an acre of land in new mexico with fifteen hundred dollars right so there's benefits to having a trade deficit right it's not you know it's not always bad it's good for consumers because that trade deficit means that consumers have more have greater access right to inexpensive imported goods that's all that it means right so everyone like economists they get really hung up on the whole trade deficit trade surplus thing and it's like look trade deficits are actually good for you because that means you're importing inexpensive goods and you're saving that money right that you would have to pay extra and that money that you saved you're able to spend it on something else and that helps the economy that doesn't hurt the economy right so trade deficits are good right because they allow the consumer to have access to inexpensive imported goods instead of having to pay two thousand dollars for a 50 inch television they're going to pay five hundred dollars right and they're going to save fifteen hundred dollars that fifteen hundred dollars they can take that money and spend it on something else right that can help them out in life they can go buy an acre of land in arizona for fifteen hundred dollars right so they can do something with that money they can buy a car with that money right they can they can you know make a down payment on a property with that money they can do something with it right so that's why trade deficits are not always bad they're good for the consumer because ultimately trade deficits save money for the consumer by allowing them to buy inexpensive imported goods and that's what it is if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel please share this video please comment below let me know what you think thank you so much for watching